welcome to Valley Subs YouTube channel. I am Brittany. I am creator here. I am opening up a couple packages today. Now, it has been a while since I've done a video for y'all. Um, hopefully, there's not a gap in our um, YouTube videos of when they post. Um, we had a week-long camping trip. Um, we had family friends staying with us with her kiddos, so I haven't really been able to soap or do anything soap related. And then baby boy just had surgery. Very minor. He's fine. And then I also got engaged. So it's been kind of crazy. Um, and so hopefully now I can get back to it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see if we can get back into the normal routine of things or what can be considered normal. <laughs> uh, I feel like everything in the world is not normal right now. I hope that all of you guys are staying safe out there. And that you guys are able to find all the supplies that you need. It took a while um, for the Brambleberry order to come in. It probably took about, I want to say about two weeks, and I actually ordered some things from, um, another website, not soap related, but it was coming from China, and of course I ordered it right in March, and I got it probably about, like, three or four days ago, um, and we're, we're starting the second week of June. <laughs> so, it has been crazy. And I hope that you guys haven't had as crazy of experience as I have. So, this is an order I, I placed with an individual. She was de-stashing some of her supplies. And she had some castor oil. And I really needed castor oil pretty bad so I got this from her definitely gonna need that for my next batch of soap I make so there's that and now for the fun stuff Brambleberry let me open up our box here now I will say unfortunately Brambleberry did not give us an estimate on how how much of a wait it would be for orders to ship because um, they already take a week um, from the time I order to when it gets to me just because I'm, I'm, I'm all the way in Florida and they are based they ship out of Washington state so um, it takes a while to get to me <laughs> so but when I looked on their website today, it, it said, you know, thanks to everybody for their patience, waiting for their orders and such. I just really wish they would have told us how long the wait was going to be. I'm not too terribly upset over it because, like I said, I haven't been able to soap anyways. Okay, so on this it says, there's a little blue sticker on here that says Consumer Commodity ORM-D. So I don't know what that means for my box. I'm sure that is pandemic related. So here is my my blue piece of paper right here for my my um, packing slip here. And let's see, I'm just going to get right to it here. I couldn't really position the camera in a way that you guys could see, so, because I'm kind of, I had to store everything in my soap room, um, of course we haven't, we haven't got it all renovated and set up for the soap studio yet, but I had to throw everything in there when, um, our friends moved in for a little bit, so I couldn't get into my room today until I cleaned it out, so... I am back to my old spot for the moment. So, this is Yuzu. I think that's how you pronounce it. Fragrance oil. And I have seen so many people use this fragrance. 
and I am so excited about smelling it. I have never, I, I don't even know what this smells like. <laughs> so, um, I know it's like a fruit. I don't know. I'm not very knowledgeable in the area of fragrances, really. Okay, so let's give it a whiff. Mmm. Oh, that smells good. Okay, I can get on board with that. Oh, that smells really, really good. So I got all, like, citrus and fruit-related fragrance oils. Oh, I'm sorry. Let me go back to this one. The Yuzu, it, it behaves well in cold process soap. Um, discolors to none. So we are good. We are good. Here's the lime. Discolors to none. And it also behaves well in cold process soap. Okay. I know what lime smells like. Oh, and that smells... That definitely smells just like it. It's got a hint, like a very little hint of sweet in that. Nothing that is so major. But you definitely are getting lime in that. And then our last fragrance oil is Pink Grapefruit. I'm so excited to use these fragrances. I am going to go on a soaping frenzy. <laughs> I have one more work day this week. And then the rest of the week we are unpacking. Or we have unpacked, but I need to declutter the house. And then I can start making a whole like four or five batches of soap <laughs> pink grapefruit this colors to none and behaves well oh that smells so good that smells so so good and i just got these little like one and a half ounce bottles because i'm not doing big like big big batches with these and I'll show you why here in a second okay Woo. I had to get more lye and this is actually the first time getting lye from Brambleberry so um, I'm sure it'll work just fine but I'm used to what size is this again two pounds okay I'm used to getting like the one pound increments and stuff. So I got two of the two pounds. So hopefully that'll last me a little while. <laughs> we will see. We have loofahs. Yay! I have officially run out of loofah soaps. But I have been having people ask me for a loofah soap for a long, long time. So, looks like something I'm going to have to keep in stock for you guys. And I love to make them too. They're so cool. Because no two are the same. It's that way with any soap, but especially with loofah soap. Let's see what these look like, what size they are. Let's see. My goodness, those are some heavy duty staples on that bag. Oh, wow, okay. So these are the loofah sponges in here. These are the perfect size, really. Okay, I think I got two. Yeah. This is the 10 count, and they put it in the bag like this. Okay. I have a couple more things of castor oil. Castor oil, I can't really find in town other than our, like, nature food store. And it's pretty expensive when I get it from there. I like to buy it from there because I like to shop local, but I can't always afford to pay, 
that much. <laughs> it's like $12 for 16 ounces, and that's, that's a little bit pricey. But here we are with more. We have two pounds of our clear mountain pour base. Oh, and I just peeled the plastic off of that. That's okay. I'll package it up anyways. Perfect for our embeds. Got one of these, our citrus fruit silicone mold. It has four cavities. And I've already I've already got one of these. I haven't used it yet, but I've got one. So I ordered a second one because I want to be able to make more than just four soaps at a time. So yay. And then so obviously this is what we're doing with our um, citrus fruit fragrance oils. And then, hmm, why do I have, let's see, okay. Okay, so I think I messed up on my order, but it's right on the packing slip. But it looks like I ordered, whoops, two of these, but I meant to order the magenta in a different color. That's okay, because we are definitely going to use these. These are a beautiful color. Beautiful color on this. Yeah. Awesome. So that's all I have to unpack today. So with that, I am going to bid you guys farewell. I pray that everybody stays healthy, stays inside if they're supposed to. And I hope you all have a wonderful, wonderful day. I hope to see y'all in the next video. Bye, you guys.